Huge amounts of data are essential in machine learning algorithms across a large number of application areas. Bringing this data together is a major challenge, but one statisticians are well equipped to solve. Joining us now is UC Irvine's Annie Chu to discuss her work in this area. Annie, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, and very nice to meet you. Tell us, Annie, what's the scale of the challenge when trying to integrate all these different wide ranges of data and bringing them together? The challenge is, is a very huge because we mentioned that we have a huge amount of data. So uh, how can we get the most information out of this tremendous amount of data? So in a sense that we need a lot of uh, computational power and storage, we also need a good statistical tool or machine learning tool to get better extraction of the data. So I think it's not easy task and it is extremely challenging. And you're going to be presenting at GSM this year. Very exciting. Will you give us a little bit of a preview of what you'll be talking about? So the challenge is talking about the signal and noise ratio. That signal could be very, very weak in the data we collected. And, and the, the, the true signal might be masked by the noise data and also by the heterogeneity. And we have a lot of missing data. So we're dealing with maybe even 90% of the data are missing. So can we get to extract important information out of this noise data and with a high heterogeneity? So our approach is try to get this called selective integrative learning in a sense that we try to be selectively choosing the right data to integrate. That means we have to learn this, uh, uh, the other representation from other data and make it useful for this specific data that we are studying. And just think about, we're studying different cancer. So one doctor studies stomach cancer, the other doctor studies brain cancer. How these two kinds of cancer data can be utilized to learn from each other, that there must be something we can share and borrow, and therefore we can improve our pre uh, prediction power and enhance this accuracy and precision. Now let's talk about what areas do you see can be done for improvement in these areas that you hope to look for in the future? There are a lot of areas, almost every area you can imagine. And think about the mobile health data. I'm actually wearing this uh, a wearable device called the Oral Ring, uh, and it collects very rich data from me. Let's say measure my daily activity, my sleep quality, my heart rate, my stress level, right, and, and my temperature and my respiratory rate. This data information is very heterogeneous. Some people is a morning person, some, some person is an evening person. How can we integrate information, maybe discover some pattern is useful for everyone. So certainly medicine is useful and also education. Just think about the different kids has a different learning ability, different uh, habit of uh, what's the best time they can focus better. So in education, we can also use data integration, help them to design the best learning strategy. And recently, you might have heard about this Olympic game, the, uh, the swimmer from University of Virginia, how they win the champion, because they use statistics and learn their movement, and learn what is the optimal way to save the time. And, and it's very surprisingly and, and remarkably that the best team is from University of Virginia because they study statistics and their coach is a mathematician. Absolutely yeah. fascinating. Thank you so much for talking with us, Annie. Thank you very much.